Hello, hello everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and the Days of Bloom is finally back in Sky, a much-anticipated event. It'll be here from March 20th to April 9th, and there is a lot going on with this event. A lot of things are going to change, a lot of things will be quite different, our trees will grow, they'll bloom, and then they will die. Uh, yes, unfortunately they will, but... I think for this video, we're going to go over the various areas where we can find parts of this event. We'll go over the items we can get from each area. And at the very end, we'll kind of go over the itinerary or what's going to happen during this event. Yeah. Okay, so let's get started. Starting, of course, where we are right now in home space. So something that I love about this year's event is that they're going to bring every single area back. So if you want the year one items, you'll have to go to home space and speak to the guide. There's also a little tea table in every single event area, which is nice. That way you don't actually have to purchase one, you can use it up as much as you want in the home space. This one here you have to sip three times before you can actually speak to the person. You have to finish your tea. It's kind of meant to, I don't know, pace yourself and take in the moment rather than immediately talking to someone. I love that all the tea sets are available. I think that's really great. It's a good way to get a nice sample of them. Maybe you might want to buy them. And if you do, you can purchase it from this little box here. That is how you can get the previous in-app purchase item from the Cherry Blossom event. And of course, we can speak to the Days of Bloom guide here to get the Cherry Blossom in-game currency items. We have the hairstyle and the cape. Now we're going to take a closer look at all of the cherry blossom items we can get from the home space, starting with the pink bloom hair. I have to say, this is, in my opinion, one of the most adorable hairstyles in the game. I actually wear it very regularly. We have these cute little blooms on the back of the pigtails here. I love that there's some baby hairs hanging out at the bottom. I feel like this is such a detailed hairstyle. And for 20 hearts, I think it's worth it. And then we have the pink bloom cape, which in my opinion, again, is the best of the bloom capes. It is so gorgeous. It really, really reads that it's a cherry blossom cape. It's beautiful. I love the detail, the gradient on it. Without a doubt, these pink bloom items are my absolute favorite cosmetics in the Days of Bloom, even to this point so pretty even on the inside I just love the shape gorgeous and then of course we have the in-app purchase from this year this is the pink bloom tea set it comes bundled with 35 regular candles and it costs $19.99 USD it's really cute on your back you can see like a little um, piece of cherry blossom branch or something when you place it it is really nice just the rocks are also cherry blossom themed it would really look good on the grass just poking out look very natural this is a two-player chat table so you can chat with another person but like I mentioned earlier you do have to finish your drinks first they want to urge patience with this one something like that I think it's a pretty cute idea you have to drink your tea and then you have a little talk of course, this is only a two-person chat table, so it's pretty small, and there are some other larger options in this event. Now, the Year 2 Wisteria items are all available in the Hidden Forest social space. Super cute. Again, we have the tea set placed down, so you can play with it as much as you want. This one is a three-person chat table. And they've added on some little treats in the middle. It's meant to be more of a high tea style tea table. I think it's super cute. And you don't have to wait until your drink is done before you can talk to people. You can talk to people right away if you'd like to. This one's really detailed. I love the paddles on the table. I love the cream and the sugar. Everything about it is really cute. Well, hello, stranger. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, I don't know what to say. A little face with a nose. Oh, they're cute. Okay, we're gonna get up though. Bye, stranger. 
And there is quite a bit of stuff here as well. I love the wisteria tree. I think it's my favorite tree. And over here we have the box once again to get the in-app purchase item, which is that table there. And we have the Bloom Guide Wisteria version, who sells the cape. Now we're going to check out the Wisteria themed items from the second year of the Days of Bloom. We have the purple bloom cape, which is 105 candles. If I had to pick a second favorite of the Bloom Capes, it has to be this one. It has a super unique shape. The shape is pretty cool. The inside gradient, mwah, gorgeous. I love the little ball that dangles on the back. It's glowing, it's so cute. And the design on the back is pretty intricate for what it is. And then for the paid wisteria item, we have the purple bloom tea set, which comes bundled with 35 regular candles. This is $19.99 USD, and the teapot on your back is just precious. I love the little pattern of the wisteria petals on it. We did see this tea set before, but let's take a little closer look. I love the yellow all around it and the gradient up. So pretty, the teacups, everything is really intricate on this one. And again, you have a unique animation where you're sipping tea. And of course, you can have some snacks in the middle. This again is a three person chat table, so it might be a better deal if you're looking to talk with more people. And finally, we have the year three or the brand new items in the Forgotten Ark in the Golden Wasteland. We can teleport from the Bloom Guide in the home space, but they may have us pretty far away from our destination. So you may have to fly all the way across. Now you may notice that it's actually raining here. There's the rain. Um, that is the very first phase of this event. The spirits here are trying to summon rain so that some plants will start to grow. It's really cute. It is actually damaging me a little bit. Ah. But there they are with their umbrellas and all sorts of stuff. So much stuff going on here. Again, we have the new, this is not a tea table, but we have a picnic basket this year. It is a three person chat table. And there's a little uh, basket of snacks in the middle we can munch on. This one's also interactive. Some butterflies will land on it as you sit here, which is pretty cute. What do these people have to say? Days of Bloom has started. Yes, it has. Again, I do love having these little picnic baskets or tea sets available for people to play with because they are pretty expensive. And for this one, we don't have a box. We can just open the shop anywhere to see this year's items. We have the Bloom Picnic Basket. And we have the Gardening Tunic. Don't worry about the prices. This is just, I, I don't have USD. This is Canadian currency. It's a bit higher. Now these spirits are really, really active. They move around a lot. They do a bunch of stuff. You can actually play music with this one here. And they will move around a lot more as this area changes. And of course, from this bloom guide, we can now get the new items. We have the cape and the nectar feeder, I think it's called. Something like that. Let's check out these items. And I'm calling this year butterfly items because of the recurring butterfly theme. First up, though, we have the red bloom cape for 110 regular candles. It's pretty cute. I love the shape of it. Although it does look like salami a little bit. Hey, I'm okay with that. It's got a bit of an orange look depending on the light you're in. A little bit pinkish, a little bit orange. And I do like the gradient on it as well. This is meant to represent a tulip. Yeah, it's pretty cute. I like the way it tilts at the very bottom. Very floral shaped. And then we have the picnic basket item, which also comes with a giftable season pass for $19.99 USD. Now, this will be more handy if I use it somewhere, 
with butterflies. So I'm going to place it on the ground here. And once we sit on it, we're just going to wait a bit for butterflies to arrive. I do think this is super well made. I love the quilt. I love the little floral pattern on the sides of it. We have some snacks in the middle and a super cute picnic basket just off to the side there. This is a three person chat table and it's a little bit interactive with the butterflies too. Place it where some butterflies are and eventually they'll sit down and interact. I believe they can also land on the basket, not just on the bowl, and there can be multiple of them. We'll wait until another one lands. Nom nom nom, I'm eating all of these. Butterfly! So cute, it's on the basket. Oh, whoa! Okay, hello everyone, hello! Next up, we have the butterfly fountain prop for 80 candles. This one's pretty cute. It has a little flower on it. And once again, butterflies can interact with it. So we're gonna go somewhere with some butterflies and place it down. I do love the flowers they put inside of it. They're so pretty. Red flowers. And butterflies will come down, just hang out drinking from their fountain. This is not really a necessary prop. It can't do much other than this, but it is pretty cute, and I do like that it has a unique effect. For my favorite new item this year, we have the gardening tunic for $9.99 USD. This is a super detailed little outfit. I love the collar, the boots, the gloves, the rolled up sleeves, and the flowers in the apron. You can also see on my hip there, there's a little trowel for digging the dirt. Very cute outfit. I'm definitely going to be getting this one. And you may notice that there's no spells around any of these areas, but we can find all of them at the spell boat in the home space. So you can get every single spell here, all of the um, cherry blossom spells, wisteria spells, and butterfly spells. Very, very easy, a little one-stop shop this time, which is nice, instead of having spell areas scattered all around. All right, now with all the cosmetics out of the way, let's go over the itinerary and what is going to happen in the various phases for this event. During phase one, for several days, in the first phase, rain clouds will roll through and a light seeker spirit will cast spells to help new sprouts emerge. So we've already seen this happen in the Golden Wasteland. We saw that one of the spirits kept sending these blue spells into the sky and rain was falling from it. So that's pretty cool. And eventually we will see some plant growth and some flowers grow. Now for phase two, grasses grow taller in phase two and a trail of petals appear on the wind for players to glide upon. Now this is a pretty fun thing that appears in the Golden Wasteland. We have this unique little trail of petals and it does remind me of one of TGC's much earlier games, Flower. We'll be able to fly around and glide on this little cluster of petals and it is super pretty. And then for phase three, from March 27th through April 6th, buds emerge across the field and then blossom into full bloom turning the desert into an oasis. The trail of petals will emit light every couple of hours. So that trail of petals that we were just flying on will give us some wax as we're riding on it. During this phase, players have the chance to join a large group of sky children using a feature that players who were part of the Aurora concert may remember. Meditate at a shrine near the Lightseeker spirits to join hundreds, even thousands of other players gathered in the Forgotten Ark. Every couple hours, players who meditate at this shrine will be transformed themselves into the butterflies that create this great gathering of light creatures. Plus, some light is available only while in butterfly form. So during this part of the event, you'll be able to turn into a butterfly and fly around with a ton of people. You can use the expressions from the Aurora concert, that smiley face, the heart, the star, and the crying face. You can fly around, collect some wax, 
One of my favorite things to do during this event was play with the krill at the other end. Uh, it's pretty fun, but it can still get ya. Now there's a lot to do here, and with a huge server, it, it really is a lot of fun. And then finally for the fourth phase, finally in the last few days, in phase four, the flowers reach the end of their bloom and eventually fade out as the meadow bids farewell to the event. All good things must come to an end, and the same is for flowers and petals and spring and events in sky. Oh look, it's the petal thing, but I'm a butterfly. Yeah, that is everything we can expect with the Days of Bloom event. And that's everything I have to share. Thank you guys so much, as always, for watching. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed. And I will update you when things change further on in the Days of Bloom. Okay, see you guys around. Bye.